to do a super fun video. Uh, I am getting ready to go through all of the pre-loved cloth diapers that we have in our stash. Um, I bought probably 20 when I was pregnant and then I bought another about 15 or so when I was pregnant that were brand new. Brand new. But the, the original 20 were pre-loved because I was a little hesitant about buying a ton of cloth diapers and not knowing if I was going, sorry, that lighting is terrible. Oh, I made it went worse. I wasn't sure if I was going to um, stick with cloth diapering and I didn't want to invest in a ton of brand new ones um, and then not stick with it. So to kind of get my foot in the door, I bought a bunch of used ones that came with the inserts and everything. Um, and when we found out it was a girl, I ended up giving some away selling some there was one mom specifically um in our old town in Colorado that we were uh living at and she was going through a rough time so I donated some to her um and then and then um I just kept using the pretty loved ones for nighttime use only because they were so stretched out at the leg gussets and even some of them had no elasticity in the back. So they were perfect for um, double and sometimes triple stuffing if need be. But I found now that we're having a lot of leaking issues. Um, and I mean, I'm stuffing and washing fine and I'm not having any issues with my inserts during the day. It's only at night. And I think it's because she's not getting a really good snug fit um, like in between and around her legs. Um, and we co-sleep, so waking up in a pile of pee, clo or pee clothes, pee baby, pee blankets is not fun for me. So, um, I pulled the trigger and I ordered a whole bunch of new diapers with Alva Baby. Um, I also ordered some for a friend that are from Mama Koala. She's having a baby boy and her baby shower is tomorrow. Uh, so I wanted to show you my Alpha Baby haul. Okay, so for the most part, the majority of my stash is Alpha Baby. I have six Mama Koala. Um, I forget the name of the collection that I got. It has mermaid, like a mermaid print, so it looks like a tail. And then mermaids, unicorns, rainbows, like just very girly. Um... I do like Mama Koala, but Alva Baby is my preference. I think that they fit better, and I, the main thing for me is that I really like the snaps. Um, when I go to, like, here, I'll show you on this one. So, for her, she is still on this rise setting for both Mama Koala and Alva Baby. Um, and so... When I do the the snaps on the rise setting, I try to like kind of pull this part tight around her belly. And for Alba Baby, they stick great. But with Mama Koala, I find that if I pull just a little bit too tight or a little too fast, or she wiggles, they um, come and snap. And that's very frustrating to try and re-snap with a wiggly eight month old. So I like that. And with Alva Baby, I like that I can just pick and choose which ones I want. It doesn't have to be a set grouping, which um, the only case that I can say I've had a set grouping of diapers that I really did like was my Nora Nurseries. And I got, there's Lemon Bumblebee, I want to say it's Grapefruit, and then like a pink marble, not marble, but like a pebble kind of look. Um... I do like all four of those in that set, but for my Mama Koala, I specifically got it because of the mermaid print, and there's like four other ones in that that I really don't like, and if they, if I had the choice to leave them out of that set, I would have, um, but with Alva Baby, I can get the exact one I want, um, or not, and I really like that. With our current collection, we, or our, our older 
collection of Alba, Alba Babies, I did mostly like really, really girly prints. So they're flowers and um, Mickey Mouse. And just, I, I think I showed it in my last video or maybe it was my how to wash a, um, how to wash cloth diaper, or strip cloth diapers without a bathtub video. I think I showed my entire stash. Um, so I'm not gonna go over that again. If you wanna see it, you can always reference back to that video. So I'll just show you my haul. So this one is like blue koi fish. I don't know if that's actually what they are. They're just like watercolor type of bloops. I thought it was just super pretty. I actually saw this on um, an Instagram, cloth diaper Instagram that I'm following. It's like Little Louie's company and I think they're in Australia. Um, and I just think it is so, so, so pretty. So there's that one. Um, this is the second print that I got. It's like rain clouds and some kind of foliage. foliage. And it is so cute. And then... The third print, I've been looking at this one for a while. I'm not super crazy about white because I usually um, strip her down to just her diaper when she eats and I feel like it might stain, but this could be really pretty for like her first birthday pictures. So pretty. And then I accidentally got two of these. Um, it's like a sunset on the beach. I actually think that's what this cloth diaper is called. And I have had my eye on it for a very long time, but I couldn't justify spending the money on it. So there's that one. And then got two. And then I decided um, with some of her little rompers, they're like a thinner material and they're very see-through. So you can really see like the, the printing of the diaper through it. And it's a little distracting from the outfit. So I ended up going with a few solids, which I don't have. I have one red solid. Um, I don't remember the brand of it. It was one of my used diapers and I hate it. It has like literally no rise. Here, I'll show you on this one. It has none of these and like none of this. So it's literally just the top row of snaps and then like one of the wing snaps on each side. So I don't get a super good fit with it. Um, but that's the only solid one I have. And I have one white newborn diaper that obviously doesn't fit her anymore. So the rest of these are solids. And I thought this color was so pretty. It's like a dark teal. It's not quite a navy blue. I don't know if you can tell the color on my, on my camera. But it is so pretty. Love this color. And then... I got black because you never know, might need a tutu. Um, I thought it would be really cute with an orange headband for Halloween when we do her milestone blanket pictures for like a Halloween themed. I thought it was cute. And then I got another red one just to like Christmas, summer pictures, any of that. And then these last two colors were a little bit deceiving on their website. This one is, yeah, see, it doesn't look the same. It's not quite that dark in person. Like it picks up a really pretty darker green on my phone camera. Let's see if I back up. It's, yeah, maybe if I do it this way. It's not not green, but it's also not that color of green. It's more of like a, I don't know, lighter green. And then on their website, this pink one looked more like a maroon color. And it is most definitely like a hot pink. Like it is very, very, very pink. And I thought it was getting like a darker, almost red, like somewhere between dark red and pink is what I thought I was getting and this one is just pink but it'll work she has tons of pink clothes so I'll just plan accordingly and then I will get the mama koala ones that I got for my friend's baby shower
So Mama Koala comes, I already took one out, but it comes in this super cute little mesh bag and it comes as a set of six. And then they also send like a little thank you note that tells you how to use and how to wash them. And then they also um, encourage you to give feedback. So these ones are for my friend's little boy that she's about to have, but it's a cowboy roping. And then it looks like this is a bank. It says Mom Mama Koala Bank. Um, ooh, let's see. So their inserts are the ones that I use for nighttime diapers. Um, they have that little fold down snap so that you can double up in the front. And I don't know, I think there's, this is microfiber of some sort, but I also think that it's a hemp blend. Um, I do really, really like their inserts for nighttime use, but they're not my favorite for daytime use. Um, and then the other thing about the Mama Koala diapers is they have a giant super loose pocket, whereas with Alva Baby, theirs is super, super elastic and tight. Um, I don't have a preference either way. I, I think they're both fine. They both get the job done. Um, See if I can fold this and put it back the way they had it. There we go. She hopefully won't mind that I snuck into it. Oh, and for the record, um, all of these diapers that I got with Alva Baby, they came with microfiber inserts. Um, they don't have any extra anything, like no snaps. They're good size. They're relatively soft. Um, I got seven inserts and 10 diapers because every chance that I get to opt out of microfiber um, inserts, I do. I don't use them. I don't like them. Um, they end up in a drawer or donated or used for burp rags or something. Um, so I try not to buy any more than I need. So that's the first diaper of Mama Koala is the little cowboy with the trees and the bank that says Mama Koala. And then this one is like just a plaid. Super cute. And then we have owls. And then there is, that's cute. There is cactus, I guess I can hold it the right way. Cactus and desert scene. And then, oh my gosh, I might get these for Emma because they're so cute. It says saloon, there's a wanted poster, a rope, oh I guess, well the hat's upside down, but that's still really cute. The sheriff's badge and money. And then, last but not least, we have an array of desert animals. There's camel, cactus, I think that's supposed to be an armadillo. That is so cute. So, that is it for our most recent diaper haul. I'm going to have to put these back in there. They're so cute. That's the one thing I gotta say that I really do like about Mama Koala is they have a ton of super cute prints, but like, for example, if I could have bought these independently and not as a grouping, I would have gotten these four. The plaid, the cowboy, the bank robbery, Thing. and then the desert scene I would have gotten but if I had a choice to not pay for them I would have left the desert animals and the owls out just because they're not my favorite um, now with the Mama Koala brand or the collection that I have I do have some that I don't reach for because they're not my favorite but they still get used they will more than likely once I throw my um 
or once I, I don't know if I'll throw them away, probably, unless I can find somebody who cloth diapers and knows how to fix them. Um, the used ones that have no elasticity, I will probably end up throwing away, but, uh, I don't know, I'll probably use the ones that I don't, I'm not super crazy and in love with. I'll probably use those as nighttime diapers. So, I don't know. It's kind of fun. I think that if Mama Koala had a Facebook page where you can buy a collection and pick and choose the ones you want and sold the rest, it would be beneficial. But if they do, I haven't found it. So, that's our diaper haul. And make sure that you, if you like this video, oops, I forgot to put this back in there. If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe if you have any questions about cloth diapering or tips. If you saw my other cloth diaper videos and you notice I'm doing something wrong or inefficient, please comment and let me know. Um, I will probably end up doing more videos like this um, again because I ended up placing my Alva baby order and realized after I placed it that I wanted like three other diapers that I should have just gotten and it didn't happen so i'll probably do another one soon but with that said i hope to see you guys again next time